welcome again to my channel everyone to my sisters with love thank you for coming back thank you to my regular subscribers and thank you to you who have just stopped by i pray that you're encouraged and blessed and share this word share it encourage somebody else i'm sure that it will all right so the word i want to share with you comes from luke 17 and verse 11 it's going to be verse 11 through 15. luke 17 verse 11 through 15 and it came to pass as he went to jerusalem that he passed through the midst of samaria and galilee and as he entered into a certain village there met him Ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. They stood back. They knew their condition. That's the humility. They didn't even bother to crouch upon Jesus, even though they heard that he had healed lepers. They stood back. They stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go, show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. There's healing in the way, and then there's healing on the way. There's healing in the way, and there's healing on the way. There's healing in the way. Jesus is the way. The healing is in Jesus. He is the way. And the Bible tells us that they were healed as they went. As they went, they received the instruction that God gave. Sometimes our healing doesn't come the way we think, or as immediately as we think. Jesus said to them, go show yourself to the priest. They didn't stop just to ask one question. They just went. You know, um, talking about instructions. I sometimes get so overwhelmed. Not just now, but life. You, th you you think about, like, say, for example, you think about your home life and you think about how things are not perfect and things are not the way that they should be. And even when you've done everything that you can do, everything that you know how to do. And sometimes, yes, yeah, some things get neglected and you say, oh, if I had done this early, if I had done that or if I had done that. And, you know, when you come to God, he gives you particular instructions. And sometimes you don't always want to obey those instructions. I'm just going to tell you. We already know. Sometimes we don't want to obey the instructions. Oh, we know God is saying, do this, do that. Like I used to fuss with my kids. And God said, look, just do it. Just do it. And for confirmation, one sister spoke to me this past Sabbath, this past Saturday. She said, you know, there was a time when I used to fuss at my daughter. And she wouldn't do the things that I wanted for, for, for uh, from her or, or that I was expecting from her. But, you know, the moment that I just allowed God to take control of the situation, things started to change. She said, you know, sis. God told me, just do it. If you ask your daughter to do something and she doesn't do it, do it. She said, my daughter would even spend everything she has and she would come to me and I'd give her the little dollar I have. But you know what? Months and months went by and my daughter came to me and she said, I want to give my life to Christ. I want to give my life to Jesus. But what if I had not obeyed the instruction? What if I had fussed? And you know, sometimes this thing, this this way of 
being so overly concerned about what others are not doing and what they should be doing, whether it's in our home, whether it's on our job. And we say, Lord, that person is not doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're not taking up their responsibility and it's falling back on me. I have to do everything. I have to do all their work and they're not even nice. And you're telling me I should do it and I have a pleasant way. I said, yes. And even now, he's telling me the same thing. He said, look, even if this one is not doing what he's supposed to do or that one is not doing what he's supposed to do, do everything that you can do to make the situation better and have a pleasant attitude. And I started doing that. And you know what? It gives you a good outlook. It lifts your spirit. You don't expect it to, but it does. You can resist the, 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 the Spirit of God if you want to. But if you choose to not resist the Spirit of God, there's a blessing on the other side. But in that blessing, there is healing as well. Because we don't understand that everything that we experience in life contributes to our health. There's a lot going on out there about mental health today and insanity and all of this. There's a direct and intentional attack of the mind, and that is what it is from the enemy. But God is bringing healing to minds, minds, body, soul, and spirit. When he heals your mind, he's healing everything. He doesn't leave anything undone. And he brought this story to me, and he said, you know, these men, they heard that Jesus, they must have heard Jesus healed lepers. Like what? Okay, we're going we're gonna to look for him. We're not going to walk up on a brother. <laughs> we're not going to encroach on him, but we're going to find out where he is. We're going to go. And we're going to get our healing. And what just grabbed my attention was that Jesus told them, go show yourself to the priest. And they did exactly what Jesus said. No question asked. Except that one came back to give thanks because as he was going, he realized, I'm healed. And he went back to say thank you. And I, I, I pray that we just give thanks right now for the healing that's coming. The healing might not be there yet. It's something in our heart. It's something in our soul. It's something in our body. Or it's a combination of everything. And sometimes the healing is just in obeying the instruction. The healing is in obeying the instruction of God. Because if we take on every worry, every care, everything, we will worry ourselves into more sickness and more death and more disease. Healing is in the way. Healing is in Jesus. And those men realize that. And healing is on the way. You know, they went on the way and they were healed when they were going. And and at times you might think that our healing is not coming. Whether it's physical or mental, we think that our healing is not coming. But I'm telling you, healing is in Christ, in his instruction. So I pray that you be blessed and I pray that you receive your healing full and entire and holistic healing today in the almighty name of Jesus. I'm going to sing this little song for you. It's a little song, but I pray that you are blessed. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. I am the God that He let be. I am the God that he let be. I am the God that he let be. I'm going to 
tell you one more time. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be And I am the God that he let be. I am the God that he let be. I am the God that he let be. That he let thee. Blessings on you. Thank you for joining me today on A Song and a Word. God bless you. Come back and see us another time. All right. Have a wonderful rest of the evening. Bye-bye.